Under State Governor Rotimi Akeredolo has warned that Southerners will not support any political party that puts forward a Northern candidate for the presidency in 2023. Akeredolo stated this during an interview on China's television on Friday. The governor insisted that the presidency must be zoned to the South for the sake of justice and fairness. He explained that when President Mohamed Buhari completes his second term in 2023, his successor should emerge from the South. There are three political parties in the Southern Governors Forum, the All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA, the People's Democratic Party PDP and the All Progressive Congress APC. All of us are unanimous in our position that the next president of this country must come from the South. I believe that any party that picks anybody from the North will have to face the whole Southern region because they will not support it. We are saying there must be what I call rotation. The justice of it and the fairness in it is what we are preaching. If President Buhari has been in office for eight years, it can't be from the North. The next president must come from the South, Akiri Dolo stated. Akiri Dolo um, has just uh, stated this. Akiri Dolo is the um, chairman of the uh, Southwest uh, um, Governors. Is the chairman. So he is putting this out there that uh, it will not happen. It will not happen. Now, any any Western state, anyone that uh, puts forward another candidate, then the other part will not support it. This is quite interesting because uh, we've seen all of these politicians recently uh, with different, they've been uh, displaying different characters, different personalities. They've been betraying one another. Let's even start with what they agreed from their meeting. You know, the ban on open grazing. They unanimously agree that there should be a ban on open grazing. But how far has it gone? We know a, a, a good number, a good percentage of the governors have gone forward to enact the law. They've signed the bill and all of that. But some of them came out openly that it's not happening in their state. It's not possible. And this meeting that he talked about unanimously, we know uh, about two governors were absent from the meeting. And these governors are the same persons who they have different perspective right now. They have different opinions about this. One of them that is very clear, very obvious is um, the governor of um, Emo State, the person of... Um, Hope Ozodima. Hope Ozodima came on live TV. Very shocking that there is nothing of such in his state. That he is the <laughs> is the chief security officer of his state, and he is the one that would decide what happens. Hope Ozodima is a loyalist to President Mohamed Buhari, and it, it wasn't really surprising to be really honest because um, of late we've been seeing his body language, how he's been reacting. He's always taking sides with anything President Mohamed Buhari does, and uh, he even went to the extent calling out those criticizing Buhari that all Buhari's critics can you people leave Buhari alone so that he can work for the country. People are not just criticizing Buhari for criticizing sake, but it's just that um, Buhari is not doing what he needs to do. People are dying every day. Insecurity is at the, t the rooftop. And um, he's not doing anything with it. The country is in a bad shape. And people won't just wake up and start criticizing him. If he's doing properly, if he's doing well, if he's really, really putting um, the masses first, if he's putting citizens first, if his government is people-centric, he will... He, he will not he will not even need to blow his trumpet the people will be speaking for him so uh when uh um, hope was already started um towing that line when he started um swaying towards that direction everyone knew that um this one is already a saboteur see what he even did to his own um people from his states from the he invited the military to come and kill these people so we know this these governors they are all most of them i'll put i'll say most of them they are they are betrayers they just spell uh personal interest that they put in in front. Akira Dolo is stating that we will not support any party that fields northern presidential candidate. Now, um, the, the southern governors, when they rose for their meeting, they stated that um, 2023 presidency has to come from the south. They did not specify if it's west, if it's south, south, southeast. But uh, political analysts have uh, uh, analyzed and dissected that their statement, um, stating that uh, it looks like the direction it's pointing towards is the east because southwest have had a share in the person of uh, um, Obasanjo. South South has had its share again in the person of Good Luck Jonathan, and um, the vacuum there is South East. Anyways, they've not um, gone to that area. They've not uh, uh, um, really looked at it 
which particular zone in the south but all they are stating is that no northern candidates now the southern governors um these uh southern governors it comprises three parties two the two major political parties in the country but we know apga the governor of um, anambra state is the only um state that has um, uh, another party so two major uh the two major political parties apc and pdp now Akari Dole is stating that um, they all they've all agreed so when Akari Dole is from APC he's from the ruling party so what he's saying here is that um, now when all of these governors everybody goes back to their respective states they go back to their respective uh, 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 parties that they should take this message back there that this is what we are doing these are this is southern governors meeting uh, the North, they have their own agenda. Their agenda is to come back for second term. They have their argument, some unbelievable argument that uh, they've not been treated fairly. If they're talking about who's not been treated fairly, the North should not even mention anything. They should not even say anything about being fair because uh, uh, President Mohamed Buhari's government is all, all he's doing in his government is just um, lopsided appointment. Recently, he, um, he's, he, <laughs> some uh, INE commissioner, they were sworn in inaugurated some uh uh new commissioners all the names from top to down they were all northerners let's not even look at that again if we look at um, the federal agencies they are all northerners INEC um FIRS um chief of army staff just look name all of them they are all northerners and they are the ones that keep saying that they have not been treated fairly see the kind of reverse psychology they want to use on nigerians but that will not work rotimi akiri Dolo anyway is taking a stand that we will not support parties that field northern presidential candidates so apc um they are clearly stating that any if any is pdp for instance tomorrow comes out that um they are going to be uh supporting <laughs> another candidate that um, they are all going to turn their back on them i just hope that they work together but because betrayal has been playing out a lot recently you know even the move the, the the governors that have been moving from one camp jumping from one end to another all presidential uh all because of uh, 2023 that is what um is um informing all of their decisions look at uh former minister of aviation that was the shocker for the week someone who has been criticizing the all progressive congress now he's stating that his comment about president muhammad buhari in the past has been all political that one is even worse for him to say all political he's now acting like adam soshomole the same thing adam soshomole did when he uh and backlash talked down on his Yamu, four years down the line, he's presenting the same candidate to the people that they should vote for him. And he stated that uh, he was just playing politics. Politics. Well, we'll see how all of this plays. But Rotimi Akere Dolo has taken a stand that they are not supporting parties that field northern presidential candidate. Let's hear your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.